I never intended to be a YouTuber, but here I am. And how did that happen? When the pandemic hit, I was looking for better video, better audio, and I was just browsing YouTube. And then I found live streaming pros. And there I learned so much about live streaming and I took their challenge 30 day live in April and there I learned, okay, I can actually go live and talk about things with other people. And after doing that, people there who became friends, they told me, we want to see you live out in public. And so I just thought, let's give that a go. My very first live stream was, I was not really prepared uh, and I titled it, not ready, go. And that was exactly what it was about. And because I was very afraid if I could go live by myself and have enough to talk, I invited uh, a guest. And so Lala came in and helped me. And uh, it was really nice to have someone to talk to. And it was also interesting, but of course it was also something to calm my nerves and uh, I was not so alone. And so for the uh, next few weeks, I always had a guest to go live, but then suddenly I didn't uh, ask someone uh, in advance to come with me and I went live alone. And to my surprise, people really uh, also liked that when I talked by myself and uh, yeah, that showed me I can do it, I can do it and uh, let's go for it. So by total accident, I became a live streamer and a live streamer and a YouTuber and I never looked back. So let me tell you what it was giving to me and why you also should be a creator. I gained confidence, I gained so much experience, I improved things for myself and now it is easier for me to speak in front of people uh, also in real life and uh, I have a lot of fun, I meet a lot of people, I, I meet new friends online and it's just so amazing. So I would encourage you Go and try to do it too.